Hi first graders and families, I'm Mrs. Gruber and I'm very excited to be your first grade teacher this year. I wanted to share this video with you so that I could tell you some important things that I would like to have you think about before you get to come to school. The first one is, this is my face. You're not gonna be able to see most of it. Most of it's gonna be covered up with my mask. But it's still me, even if I'm behind a mask. I'll still be able to see you, and I'm excited about that. I'm very happy to know that we have some things that are um, for our safety that are going to be happening this year. One is that we're going to do most of our learning in our classroom. In past years, we would go to different locations for art or music or gym class or the library or lunch, but we're going to be doing everything in our classroom or outside where we can socially distance a little bit better. So all learning is going to be happening. We might have some special other teachers coming in to work with a small group of students in our class, but they'll be coming in um, or maybe taking them to an empty room that they can sanitize between visits. So we call this our cohort. So we're just going to keep everything together in our room. We're having breakfast and lunch in our room. We're going to have art class in our room, but we will be leaving when the weather's good to go outside for gym class and outside for music and for recess. Our recess is going to be different. Usually we take all the first graders out at the same time. So that's 125 students normally, but this year we're just bringing two classes out and we're going to um, monitor the the playground, one person's gonna to get to be, one class, one class is gonna be able to be on the equipment one day while the other class is on the blacktop and then we're gonna switch the next day. So we're gonna keep our groups together even when we're playing. Um, we have a lot of different ways to communicate with each other and I'm gonna be finding out which way is your best way, but I wanna tell you about some things that we use at school and what is an agenda it's we call that the agenda and you see that really cool robot on there you get to have one of those and it's going to go home with you every single day and then every morning you get to bring it back so i can see it and on our agenda we have a place where we will write a sentence something that we did during our school day Maybe I might say, today we had a fire drill. And so I, have, I will have you copy that in your agenda. And that'll help your parents be able to have some good conversations about your day when you're sitting around the dining room table. They'll say, well, what did you do for the fire drill? And you can tell them. Um, maybe I'll tell you that um, today we learned all about add-ins in math. So, that's just one little sentence that you get to write. On the other side is where your parents will sign it. And maybe if they wanna write a little comment, maybe they wanna say, oh, that was a great story you read. My child really enjoyed um, math today. Um, so parents can write me a note, or they don't have to, but just sign it so I know that you saw it. So the student will write one sentence and um, the parents can sign and write another sentence or write a little comment. Another way that we communicate is something we call our gator folder. So it's a green folder. I usually have a nice picture of an alligator in there with your name on it. But on the inside of this folder, one side says keep it at home. So it might be work that we've completed or um, some projects that maybe you've worked on. The other side says return to school. So if you need to turn in some lunch money, or maybe you have a note for me, or maybe there's permission slip for something, this is what also goes home every day, just like your gator folder um, and your agenda. Um, we're gonna be using hand sanitizer, soap and water, and um, other devices to help keep us safe. Again, um, everybody will be having a clean mask every day, or they can use a shield. If you're not comfortable with a mask, we can give you a shield. Um, it might be a good idea to bring an extra mask. Keep it in your backpack in case something happens. Maybe I see mine's kind of getting kind of old. 
it might rip and fall. I better have a second one just in case that one um, falls apart. We're gonna ask again for safety that no visitors or any essential adults come into school. So um, we're not having visitors for lunch. We're not having um, the dog, the grandparents, aunts and uncles come to see. But I'm gonna be taking lots of pictures and sharing them on Seesaw so that you can share those pictures with your family members so they, they can see what's going on in our, in our classroom. If your child has a birthday, we welcome birthday treats. We want to um, celebrate your child's special day. We only ask that the, pro the treats are individually wrapped so that I can pass them out quickly and easily. So no cupcakes this year, it has to be individually wrapped. I am gonna ask that um, when you come for our conferences that you come and enter door 17. It's clearly marked, but if you're facing the front of our school, um, the office door would be on the right hand side. I think that's door number one. And um, on the left hand side is door 17. So we're gonna come in and exit those doors every day, whether you are a drop off, a walk walker, or a bus student. You're always gonna be, if you're a first grader, you're always gonna enter door number 17. And I will ask that when you come for parent-teacher conferences next week, if you please can bring the school supplies, that will help us um, get a little organized and save some time in the morning of our first day of school. So bring your school supplies um, and I will label them and get them all set for us. Um, as you know, I mentioned Seesaw. Many of you are already um, subscribers to it or receive those emails. You'll be getting a lot of information from Seesaw from me through that. Lots of opportunity, opportunities to see your child's work or to see pictures of our day or any announcements I might have. Um, and so I think that's all I have for you. If you ever have any questions, you can communicate through email, through a phone call, and I will be sharing my Google Voice phone number, so if you even want to text, you can do that. Um, I look forward to building a great partnership with you this year, to keeping our students engaged in learning, to have fun, and to be safe. Again, I look forward to meeting all of you. Have a great day.